Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome to Athens. I'm Dana R. Lucas, and as always, I'm joined by the lovely Sofia Del Prado. Hello, Dane. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of the EuroLeague Diaries, powered by Ardo Prime. To win on the court, you need an MVP like Sasha Vezenkov. To win in the trading game, you need a trusted broker, and Ardo Prime, a premium EuroLeague partner, has been navigating the game since 1999. Dane, episode two was amazing. What a great time we had in Monaco in the front Derby, but Let's see if Athens has it better. We just got here in Athens a little while ago and we got a jam-packed day before we head to Perdeus and of course Greece, the home of two historic EuroLeague clubs, Panathinaikos and Olympiakos. And tonight we have a great matchup in the top of the standings because Olympiakos is hosting Barcelona and I'm sure they won't go without a fight. Also, it's a sold-out game, so I'm sure the atmosphere is going to be wild. We say it every week, we say it every episode, every game matters in the EuroLeague. That's right, you got it, Dane. But before we head into the game, I want to see what beautiful Athens has to offer. And that's why we are here. We are in Sigma Square, the central, the heart of Athens, and also one of the most famous squares in all of Greece. Also, the perfect spot for sighting. Yeah, we got people coming in, people coming out, plenty of excitement to get us ready for tonight's Spotlight match. In the back, we have the tomb of the unknown soldier, and if we're lucky, we can even witness the change of the guards. Yeah, these guys, they protect this part of the city like Mustafa Fall protects the paint in Pideus. <laughs> We are in Plaka, one of the oldest and most iconic neighborhoods of Athens. In the shadow of the Acropolis, it is like a little village within the city. With the narrow streets, small cafes and shops, and beautiful ancient ruins on almost every street corner, it takes you back to what ancient Athens must have really felt like. And just like every historical city, what makes it so special is the people. Just like EuroLeague fans make the league so special, right? Yeah, exactly. The competition's just starting to heat up, but we're just getting started. So let's take a little tour around, get to know the let's people, go. the area, and the shops, the restaurants, everything. Hey, how Hello. are you guys? How are, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice how to are you? Do. This is some place you guys work at here, huh? It's this so is... nice. We are very busy. It's most, the most touristic uh, spot. All this is area. where all the tourists come. Yeah. Wow. So you're famous, I mean, basically. I am famous. What's your name then? <laughs> I am Simon. You're Simon, and Simon, you're the king of this uh, little beautiful road right that's here, huh? Part, you know. That's your part right here. In the future, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, you like basketball? I love basketball. I am Olympiacos. Olympiacos fan. Olympiacos. So tonight's a big game. With Barcelona? Yes. With Barcelona, of course. Big Are you going to be there? No, because I am every day, all day here, because this is my place. <laughs> this is your place. Yeah. All yeah. right, man, thanks Thank so much. You. Huh? <laughs> Oh, this is gorgeous. I love the smell. Hi, how are you? Hi. Kalimera. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I got the coffee finger going. Look at me. That's the tea mm. finger, not the coffee, but... Yeah, I don't know how to be fancy or elegant, but I feel like it around here. This oh is so God, beautiful. It's strong, but it's good. I am loving Athens so far. Oh my God, me too. That last street there was gorgeous, but they say we got a surprise here. And yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, wow. We are surprised. What a surprise it is. And look. Oh my God, there, there it is. Got the Acropolis right there. What up, Zeus? Athena. And Athena, they're all there. like me and you love Greek food, look no further than this place right here. I've been dying to get my hands on a little bit of gyro, tzatziki, and if you come to Athens without having souvlaki, you just, you're not doing it right. And we are in the best place of souvlaki, so I can't wait to try it. Enough talk though, I mean we got two right here, let's just dig in, huh? Before I do, have a look. Just, oh my that's god, so look at the bread. I'm gonna need a suitcase full of this before going back home. And maybe a bathtub of tzatziki too. 
I couldn't be happier. It's amazing. I couldn't be happier. It's really good. Another round of true lucky, please. Another two rounds. <laughs> What a great morning we had in the center of Athens Lane, but now we are here in the port of Piraeus, where Olympiakos was founded in the 30s. Yeah, and what haven't they won since that time? I mean, Greek titles, European championships, including going back to back in the EuroLeague back in 2012 and 2013. And let's not forget, Olympiakos has had some amazing players as well, and some of the most notable include players like Vasilis Espanolis, who's considered one of the best Greek basketball players of all times, as well as Yorgos Princesis and Theo Papalukas, who won the MVP EuroLeague title in 2006 and helped his team, Olympiakos, reach the EuroLeague title in 2006. So we can sit here and talk all day about Olympiakos history, but what better person to do it for us than a living legend, Georgios Princesses. Welcome, man. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. How's life after playing? <laughs> you know, everybody asks me about that. How is life? And uh, everybody has one disappointment like in their face. But okay, life continues. Life, uh, it's, uh, it's not only basketball and uh, if you if you feel full complete inside yourself that you did the best you could do, uh, the life continues. I'm sure you have a lot of special moments during your career as a player, but which one would you consider that is one that you have in your heart? You know, everybody expects to say 2012, that was an amazing moment. I'm just about to do this. <laughs> uh, yes. The ball in the hands of the two Spanulas. He by himself. Gets it to Princesis, he makes it! Olympia goes ahead! Princesis is no, It was an amazing moment because uh, after 15 years, Olympia won a very big title. I mean, uh, and the way that happened was like fairy tale, and uh, we finished the season with a great way. But 2013, back to back EuroLeague, it was something that, I don't know, makes me more, uh, not happy, more complete. Because everybody, they said that everything was by luck. I mean, not by luck, but it happened one time per 100 years. So everybody, the next year, they said, okay, it happened one time. Don't say that it will happen again because it's something difficult. And we improved ourselves that we deserve it. It was not something by luck and we continue to win the EuroLeague. So for us and for me, it was something like, makes me feel good. So give us a little preview of tonight, what you expect from both Olympiacos and Barcelona tonight. It's the third game for Olympiacos that will be back to back and they had a very difficult game against Colosso, so maybe it will be a little bit more tired. But uh, I believe Olympiacos this year played very well. He has uh, complete games. I mean, uh, defensively he's very good. Uh, very hard team with the roles. Each one knows what to do with the leaders with chemistry, with a good offense, he moving the ball. I mean, right now for me, it'll be a coach for the favorites for, not only for the day, for EuroLeague until now. But as you know, okay, it's final four and playoffs. Any, a lot anything of happen. Yeah, anything can happen. Thank you. I want to thank you for everything. Always nice to be in the presence of a legend. Thank you very man. much. Take care. Thank you. Appreciate thank you, thank you it. Action time. We are here at the Peace and Friendship Stadium, ready for a big game. What are your expectations, Dave? I can't wait to get in here. The place is already rocking. Outside is going nuts. Two top teams in the EuroLeague squaring off tonight, and it couldn't be a better stage and a bigger scene tonight. Let's see how the stadium is looking. So I want to know, first and foremost, how's the season going for you? Things are going as expected? Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a long season. As always, uh, all EuroLeague seasons are very, very difficult, very competitive this year. But, you know, we're very impressed with the team. We're very positive. We enjoy the season. Everybody enjoys the season. You know, the players, the fans, uh, the organization. And uh, we, we hope to go all the way, all the way. How different and special is a EuroLeague game for Olympiacos? You know, every EuroLeague game is a special game 
game for us and for the fans because it's uh, like the talk of the town. Uh, you know, especially these kind of games with uh, Barcelona, a huge club uh, with a lot, of, a lot of history. And always the games, the games against Barcelona and other teams are very competitive. We try to enjoy the game and we try to feel the energy of the game. But at the end of the game we want to win also. Kyle putting on his gloves right here, you gotta check that out. Warming up with the gloves on. He's one of the best shooters in Europe and he's got this warm up. Kids around Europe should be doing this now, We're learning from one of the best in the league. Look at, how do these have those handles? That's slippery right there, that's not easy to do. How do you prepare for such important games and uh, for getting the MVP? You know, in EuroLeague every game is uh, different, every game matters, but uh, this game especially, uh, you know, it's two top teams, uh, we're tied with them. Uh, they're in really good uh, strike, they, win five in a, they won five in a row. Uh, we struggled the last game, you know, so in front of our fans, we're ready to fight uh, and it's an exciting game for everybody. You know, last year you were in MVP form, didn't quite get it, but this year you're even better than you were last year. You're, you're on fo I mean, you've been incredible. What's your secret? Tell us, tell us a little bit. Consistency, you know, hard work, uh, team chemistry. Uh, I think uh, everything, uh, every, everything matters. And the most important is that the team is uh, on the high, like on the high spot on the ranking. So uh, when the team is going uh, well, you know, we're playing a team sport. Everything, everything then is successful. about Olympiacos fans and I want to ask you, does it give you more energy or a little bit of pressure? Oh, a ton of energy. There's been many games where uh, we came out and struggled and they, they brought us to win, you know, by themselves almost. So, uh, a ton of energy. Yeah. What's it about you, Tom, is that it seems like as the year goes on, you just get better. Uh, you've been killing it lately and, and what's your secret? Uh, hard work pays off, uh, yeah. but uh, more than that, it's becoming more and more comfortable with the team, taking a step, step by step with the team. And uh, yeah, it's easy to uh, kind of find your rhythm when the team's playing so well. So your show has been amazing so far. So Good luck with yours. the rest of it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We all are doing what we love. So we if are. it's about basketball, Let's talk a little more about basketball. Tell me how you see this game, what you're thinking about this well, game, this expert. It's always different, you know, games like that, derbies, you can never predict, because you, ne you never know who's going to step up his game at this point of time, it will make the difference. Let me guess who your favorite player is. Of course. Well, he's going to be MVP tonight, right? MVP yeah. of February. MVP of the season, would you say? Yeah. Off season? What's your name? Arsemeli. Arsemeli. Who wins tonight? All right, let me get your best. Oh, Liv. Oh, Liv. Be a ghost. There we go. Thanks, man. <laughs>
A dead eye shot. Half time here in the face of Frenchy Vespaio. What a tight game. Yeah, I mean, Barcelona came out guns blazing. They got up by a 10 points, a little more than that even, but just seven points in the second quarter. Olympiacos is back and they're leading going into halftime. And the fans are giving it all. Ooh, baby. How about this first quarter? They didn't start off too well, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Normally, you can see the difference with the more. We made other stuff. They got better in that second quarter, didn't they? Score. Yeah. yeah. It's a close game, both great. Games. What we expected, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's tough. I'll be a close after the loss in the last. It's going to be. <laughs> Tradition. Here we are on the court. You know what time it is. First on the bucket. Let's do it. You go. I gotta force you left. Oh, she oh. went left. Oh, she went left. Woo. Oh. Oh, I don't know who's cheating, but I'll give it to you anyway. What's the score? Two one. Lucas with the ball. What's she gonna do? It's over. It's over, give me some. She's up in the series, 